Stasis Flower Gothic, whose only fear in the world is fangirls. As of tonight, Yandere Dev released a new video about four hours ago about where the fuck Osana is. And now I'm ready to see some of his bullshit excuses. And this is the first time I'm going to be watching this video, so everything's just going to be raw, like, right out of my mouth. We're going to see what the fuck is up with him now. Although he does have a description about how he needs to close the comments section because he has too many edgy teenage kids. Get a grip, I have those all the time on my own video about you. Constant spray of misinformation slash outright lies. Let's watch the video. Oh, excellent. The latest build and video are finished uploading. Oh, great. Great. Yeah, I've always wanted to see, you know, friendship bracelet girls and phone charms. I think I'll read the comments and see what people are saying. Let me guess. They all say, where's Osana? Where's Osana? Why isn't Osana done yet? When will you work on Osana? Called it. Osana! You know, when you have Osana being said that quickly, it kind of sounds like sauna. That has nothing to do with this video, but I just thought it was fucking hilarious. Oh, wow. We need to have a talk. Oh boy, what is this going to be about? How you've been, oh, so busy that you couldn't work on Osana even though you had plenty of time to work on some other secondary features to the game that, well, really could have been done after Osana was implemented? If I put Osana into the game right now, it would not be any fun to eliminate her. And why is that? Because you couldn't simply copy Coconut's code and just paste into Osana, change a couple of details to avoid spoilers, and just leave her there for further updates? And can say, oh, it's non-canon, everyone, so don't assume this is going to be Osana's true backstory. It would be exactly like killing Kokona. Which is why I also mentioned that you should have had Osana be the test rival in the first place instead of Kokona because there's no real reason for Kokona to even exist. She's not even going to be a real rival at the end of the game. In order for me to craft a fun and challenging experience, I need many different types of obstacles. Yes, you could use several obstacles to eliminate a rival. You know who you could test that on? Osana! It's the debug build, it's not the actual game! You've said it before! You have the right to do that! To create interesting scenarios that require the player to be clever and use strategy in order to accomplish their objective. Oh yeah, clever. Clever strategy. Um, hate to break it to you, buddy. Last time I played the game, it took me about, like, what? Ten minutes to do the whole deed? I need things like the student council which essentially perform the same damn function as the bullies from other videos I have seen where you discuss your original tactics. Like seriously, the student council goes around the halls and around the courtyard seeing if anyone needs assistance. The bullies go around the hallway as well and they all report on the player. Without these students or the features associated with them, I can't arrange characters around the school. You can't create a hitman ripoff involving Japanese schoolgirls. I know, I understand. I'm not going to put Osana into the game until everything I need is in place. Despite the fact that you already have a placeholder arrival and you can <sighs> eliminate her in a challenging manner without all of these obstacles. Here's a checklist of everything that I think the game requires until I have what I need. You have, like, most of this shit done. And I really, really don't think students need to react to blood or weapons or have a stable frame rate for Osana to actually be implemented. Sure, she might need her secret obstacle, but for God's sake, implement that shit last. It's not that hard to delay something like that while having Osana in the game. As you can see, most of this work is already done. No shit. Get cracking, dumbass. I wouldn't dream of putting Osana into the game until there are at least 90 students at school. Oh yeah, I wouldn't dream of putting Osana in school without these very, very unessential details like 90 students, a tutorial, and saving. The build that contains Osana is going to be a big deal. 
Yeah, oh yeah, the build with Osana is going to be a big deal because you just put Osana in there with everything. Instead of, you know, actually putting her in as the test rival and then giving her her canon backstory once all is said and done. It should be a completely accurate representation of the experience of playing the final game. Yeah, oh yeah, it's going to be a completely accurate experience of playing the final game when you said that all of your graphics are placeholders and all of your locations are placeholders and basically everything is a damn placeholder. It was a huge mistake for me to put so much emphasis on Osana in the past. Why? She's like your first main rival. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be damn important in the first week. <laughs> I know I said before that she won't really cause much to the plot because, you know, she's the first week rival, but still, she's the first rival, so she's, like what, 30% important? Because it created the false impression that Osana should be my one and only priority. And that's why you should have had her as the placeholder rival with non-canon information in the first place, so you could work on all the other canon information in secret and then simply just copy-paste once everything is said and done. I mean, you could have put in valid elimination methods, like, oh yeah, her interactions with Senpai over the week, and for Yandere Chan's opportunity to sabotage them. My goal is to give you an excellent experience. Oh yes, because all Japanese schoolgirls are experiences, aren't they, Yandere Dev? You might feel better if you think of it this way. Because all of these things are required for Osana to be in the game, the act of working on these things counts as progress towards Osana. No, they aren't. They're not really required. Again, Osana is just a rival. Because no, these are just the same tactics you're using for every damn rival throughout the game. So no, they aren't really Osana exclusive. So you're not really preparing for Osana as much as you're preparing for all the rivals. After fully implementing a rival once, I'll have a template that I can use for all future rivals. Because you are going to take my advice for once and just do copy-paste, change the backstory, copy-paste, change the backstory. One of the purposes of the crowdfunding campaign is to raise enough money to hire at least one experienced, highly qualified professional programmer to work on the game full-time. Because as you know, I, Yandere Dev, can't program shit, despite claiming I have a lot of experience programming games for um, various, various companies in the past. Well, I guess it's safe to say that nothing has changed, nothing ever will, and... I guess it's going to be at least, I don't know, six more months until you get even the slightest hint of Osana, despite the fact that that completely, completely should not be the case. Anyway, thank you all for watching. <sighs> Please subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!